Art didn't give me the chance to actually decide if I wanted to be an artist. It kind of took over. It took over my practice. It has become a daily ritual. The human is a collective consciousness. It's universal. We all are the same, some way or another. I was trying to like uh, tackle different uh, aspects of the human condition, trying to play around surrealism in a way. You can play around with colors, you can play around with different mediums, you could... Uh, there's sculptures, there's sculptures out of paint, sketching on cups, calligraphy, you name it. It's, 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 uh, it's an ocean. Art is an ocean that connects all the other oceans. And uh, that's the beauty of art and that's what keeps me going. It has given me knowledge that I wouldn't get from anywhere else. I'm also a forensic sketch artist with Abu Dhabi Police. This is what I do and this is what I love. This is what I felt purpose in putting that into my practice. I wake up every day knowing that I would do some sort of thing to help the society and my city and my people by catching criminals with art. Being a forensic artist has been the best thing that happened in my life. I never knew I was going to be one. I was called by my previous manager, which uh, brought me into this field. He saw something that I was able to do, since I do draw from the imagination. And uh, he has given me that chance to uh, make use of my art. I felt that I have a reason. Every day is a new day, and uh, it's a surprise as well. That's the beauty of the job itself, because it's not a routine job. Every day is a new story. Every day is a new crime. It's a fun journey. It's a really fun journey. And uh, I've learned so much during the process. What really influenced my art is this residency in the Cultural Foundation. It has given me the opportunity to actually appreciate my art more. I've never had a studio outside my home. And once I go back home, I kind of miss my work. It's very interesting that I felt the connection that my work is not with me, it's somewhere else. It has taught me to appreciate my art more because now I know how much I love my work. Apart from that, I have, I have had many studio visits, which has been the most enlightening part of this residency. Everyone that, ha that came in, they left love, appreciation, and questions once they left. This room is filled with that. And uh, each person has given me something with their visits. When my dad decided to become an artist, the influence it had on me was beyond what I've imagined. I never thought he would paint in his life. I knew he had that artistic sense in him, but I never thought he would actually create. It has given me a different type of confidence that my father is actually becoming an artist after his 50th birthday. And what's beautiful about it is that art has no age. You could actually pursue it anytime, anywhere. It was a mutual influence between my dad and I. And uh, we bonded in a different way. We talk about art now. He made me realize that uh, you could do a lot with art. I had a uh, a brick wall in front of me before he became an artist. That phase, he actually, he was the one that broke that wall, to be honest. And uh, there's so much love and respect for my father. I am very thankful and grateful for him to be an artist.
My advice for the emerging artists is to keep producing, never stop, love what you do, and once it becomes a ritual, I think this is where you could call yourself an artist. You need to dive into this. You need to put all your energy, all your thoughts into art. It's a never ending uh, process. The process itself is something else because this is what I enjoy most. It's the time I spend doing something. It's what I think about when I'm doing something. And um, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And I don't think I'll ever stop. I don't think I'll ever stop because it has become me. It has become who I am, how I spend my life. Everything is art, everything is art. And I still have a chance to discover more into that. My name is Ghan Mubarak and I am an artist and I draw the human condition. <laughs>